If you haven't yet done so, please hit the subscribe, that'd be most appreciated right now because uh, every subscribe and like will count. It might help pay for a new jack. Hello, welcome to Hey TV. Uh, I'm not trying to start some or think I'm cool or anything. I've uh, got serious, serious sunburn on the back of my neck. Hence, I got a baseball cap the wrong way around. We are getting ready to pick up. Everything goes down. Possibly got thunderstorm tomorrow. I don't know. Going to get everything in. Uh, on top of that, I'm quickly just coming down to wash out my radiator and aircon unit. Because every time I go out in the sun, because in dusty bathing shed, everything's clogged up with dust. So I'm going to clear that out a minute before we get going. Or before I get going. Actually, my man, big boss man, and. These are, you can get a free t shirt. So, first one can come up with that, drop a message below. But until it's guest and he spots it, I'm just gonna keep wearing them. Now, air cons washed out, radiators washed out because they're absolutely clogged. And the unfortunate thing with Bane from Shed is it just gets full. I mean, really full. Of crap. Can't help it, it's just the way it is. But that is all sorted. Now, I am in it, I've got to move some stuff around. So, we have moved out of the bathing shed, so I can see you a little better. In the bathing shed, we have got um, 20 foot to the heaves of the roof section, okay? So we've got a lot of up space. So what we've done is, the wood shed that's next door is only 12 foot, because it's actually a sheep, oh, wooden sheep shed. That is getting filled up with pallets, because the pallets are about six foot high, so it works out, or just under six foot high, so it works out we can get two one on top of each other on certain products um, and utilise the space in there but then we'll be able to utilise the space in the bathing shed for just hay um, and save on because um, basically we'll make quite a bit of hay and we also don't want to wrap hay if we run out of shed space so this gives us a considerable a more amount of shed space than we would usually run so there's the methods beyond madness, but I'm gonna get my ass moving. Now I've got a cool tractor. I've got to get some pallets outside because we're gonna put some products which are made, they're gonna be stored outside now rather than inside. Uh, so I'm gonna get a load of that out. Before I start bringing in round bales, and then stack it in there. Also, I wash my windows. So you guys got a really clear image. Round Bay that's getting its final checks and getting its morning service. HRS just started raking. And I am about to get these pallets here outside.
Okay, we are seven out of 11 fields in for the day, which is about 65 acres so far. Mikhail is roaring away. We have, have got a sensor failure on that V8. So the V8, the V8 can work in auto, so it just keeps going, you drive, the beeper goes, you stop, position yourself, and then it will automatically kick out everything. Just do it yourself. Well, the rear sensor on the back door is malfunction, gone, broken, wire rubbed through, who knows, don't know yet. Um, so someone will be coming to fix that over the weekend or early next week. HRS is over, not this next field over, a field over again. Can't think, I can't see if you can see it. Oh, he's in the top corner. On the camera, you can't quite pick him up. But anyway, he's raking away, so he's only got four fields left because the two fields over there, we can't actually get the rake in, so they'll get picked up in the lines that I left when I cut them. So he's only got, yeah, no, three fields left, not four. What am I on about? Charlie's waiting for me because on these six foot bales, every time I come up the trailer, we're pretty much right up with Vayner. So we kind of, that's why I'm back on camera a second. We're right up with the kit. That makes sense. So obviously I'm carrying uh, 11 six foot, six foot one bales, which is equivalent of three four foot per bale. So that's 33 four foot on that one trailer, believe it or not. Charlie's carrying threes, which is like carrying nines, which means we're saving a hell of a lot of fuel and we clear not that Justin's left his teleander running in the background, which is probably not cost effective for fuel, but it's keeping my cab nice and cool. But what I'm saying is, uh, economically taking bales in, we are moving a hell of a lot of grass very, very quickly. And there, big boss man purrs off. Oh no, he's going to kick out a bale. Right, I get a move on again. Because I'm stood around with bales, but I have got, Charlie has done two, three trips down to the yard, whilst I've been loading. So there are bales down there to put away as well. That's very low behind me. Okay, so it's the morning after. I didn't actually finish the video yesterday. Uh, mostly because I couldn't. So, in the shop, just come in around about now, there. There's a maiden tractor. There's a white van. I don't know if you can see in the window there. Or there. So, the computer with the baler had an absolute freaking meltdown. So it started flagging errors that there's problem with sensors one after the other. Now, with the amount of Mikhail Baylors that we have had, we've not had problems with sometimes one sensor when operating or bailing, but never, never multiple amounts of sensors at the same time. So we're figuring it's a computer problem. They brought a spare computer down with it and they're obviously going through all the sensors as well. But we've got two fields. Now, two fields coming to probably some total of about one and a half acres, which didn't get finished. We did, it looks like the headland from here because it's one my eye line. Uh, but on that headland, those fields, They've got to be picked up behind mower lines because we can't get the rake in because there's a tree coming across it and it's not our gateway and they're not our fields we, we uh, just get to use the grass or rent the grass so on that we never quite finished so i'm gonna finish later on but there's probably on six foot bales about eight to ten bales well six to eight bales in their max basically so not a huge sum of stuff to sort out but can't bail at the moment because bail is, bail is crocked and is up there getting sorted out so 
being a Saturday morning. Thunderstorms are supposed to come later on this afternoon. That's what the forecast is predicted. So we should be, the mechanic should have this sorted out by the next hour, I reckon. Old man just got to go over there, bail it up. I'll go pick up a couple of bales that there's going to be, which isn't going to be very many. And then they bring bring them back and they've got to be wrapped because that's not hay. We've not turned it because again, we can't get much of the kit in there on the mowers. Tenders could go in there, but we can't rake it up so we don't turn it. Um, but hopefully that, gets, well, hopefully that gets done before the sunstorm. If it gets rained on, we're just going to float it on the floor because it's not the end of the world, basically. But the hay, the hay is all in which is right there. Voila. Um, put it in here because we can stack higher in the shed and get more in. And that's the reason behind it. All our, loads of our pallets have gone to the shed next door, which isn't as high. And if I had pallets in here, the pallets would be about to the top of the third bale down. So then we'd be, missing out on all that roof space so that's why we've done it this way but if you haven't done so please hit the subscribe but i'm gonna go until uh, we're, uh, i'm gonna go until we're bathing the next bit over there and then i'll pop back the camera so fields bailed seven males if you look down the valley behind me it is starting to get real gray pretty dark uh, spots on the window the storm is pretty on point of getting it so big boss man's coming out to get one there's two back five left here then i'm gonna get the old wrapper out to wrap them up absolutely pain the thing is get a wrapper set up for like less than 30, 30 off 50 bales. 30 bales is, you know, I can just about tolerate. But seven, it's just, it's just a, that's a ball ache. I'm not getting a crash mat or anything like that. It's just gonna be what it is, it is what it is. But I am gonna get these wrapped up and then probably knock off for the rest of the day, you know, and see where things go. So, I've just been parked, hitched up, but I'm still in the shed for five minutes because absolutely just pissed it down. Very, very wet. Absolutely pissed down. Got a few spots coming back down now. But the sooner I get this done, the better. Right. And here we have it, wrapping in the rain. I just, a minute ago, didn't raise my freaking jack up far enough, caught it on a fr pissing rock coming out the shed and bent it and I'm absolutely livid. And on top of that, at the end of that shot just right there, uh, my rat also didn't cut, which is fantastic right now. So I'm slightly livid. So, I wear my jack up, obviously not enough. I have not freaking caught it coming up that shed ever by having a jack of that height. The only good thing about the new Mikhail's is the jack is bolt on, not freaking welded on like one I have been in the past. It's the second time I've done it, but obviously not on this wrapper. But it goes to show that Bollocks happens to all of us, no matter what, which is really piss and annoying. Well, wrap it in, go. Now it's going. But for six bales, seven bales, seven pissing bales, I've been a jack. You know, it was worth doing that, wasn't it? Should have done that one. Right, anyway. It is spitting here on me. Already had one huge downpour. There's thunder and lightning on its way. I'm gonna do this. 
before I'm here sat in a giant lightning rod. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've had a laugh at my expense in the last two no, or last 10 to 20 seconds. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe. That'd be most appreciated right now because uh, every subscribe and like will count. It might help pay for a new jack. Uh, on top of that, if you want to see any more of us, you can find us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, have I missed one? Maybe. Whatever. TikTok. Whatever. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you next one. Cheers.